Hi there, it's a quick video on how to make pemmican. I associate pemmican with the North American indigenous people, but I'm sure there's loads of different varieties of uh, this around the world. Uh, this also uses the last video I did, which is on tallow, which is one of the ingredients in there. But first of all, we've got to have a look at how to make your jerky before we start on the pemmican. You can make it at home. I've used a dehydrator and a cold smoker, but you can use your oven as well. It's very easy. This is beef silver side, or you can use top side as well. Venison's good too, but I find it's a little bit pricey for doing large amounts. So it's into the freezer for 90 minutes to firm it up for slicing. So here we go, I've got it out. It was just starting to catch on the bowl, so that's about right. <clears throat> so I've trimmed the fat off, or as much as I can, because that'll contain moisture and it can turn the actual jerky rancid. And what we want to do, I've cut it along its length, but what we're going to do is cut it across the grain because that makes the structure it better because if you go with the grain it has a tendency to crumble if you're not careful this is what you're aiming for nice thin slices like this i mean not everyone's going to be perfect but you can get a lot of them like this and because the meat's been frozen it's quite malleable to be shaped a little bit by the knife as well and if you get a lumpy bit left at the end you can always give it a good beating with a, a rolling pin in a bag to flatten it down a little bit there we go, that's a quick close up of what you're aiming for ideally. There are many combinations of uh, seasoning you can use, you can go very minimal. Uh, my favourite is uh, soy sauce, ginger and garlic. But on this one, I'm using Liam Perrin's Worcester sauce and just literally a shop bought jerky mix. I'm starting to load the pieces in now. Leave plenty of space between them so the air can circulate. If you're doing this in the oven, just literally use a cake stand or something similar. Now, because I've got them quite thin, I'm going to go for 45 degrees for about four hours. But the best way to tell if they're done is actually picking them up when all said and done. Then the pieces started to be done from about the four and a half hour mark or so. And it's just slowly pull them off as they become slightly stiff like this. And then when you break them open is another test. You can see why it strands through. If that means you can see just beyond the piece of done jerky, that's my Pro-Q cold smoker. I'm going to slap the jerky in that. You can of course buy a liquid smoke, but this cold smoke generator just is the game changer when you've made jerky at home. This lid's the modification, it's not actually part of the kit, and if you want more information on the modification and the cold smoker in general, have a look at this link here. And here's a finished smoky article, you wouldn't know I hadn't done this on a fire. And then what you need to do is pound the jerky or make it into a fine powder. One thing I'm going to add is some elderberries, 50 degrees in the oven until they go wrinkled. And to the dried elderberries, I've also added some toasted pine nuts and some cranberries, which is sort of vaguely authentic, I guess. And this is the consistency I've gone for. I've not pounded it to a fine powder, but it is quite small, which I guess if it was being done like with uh, manual means back in the day, this is probably what they would have arrived at. Put the pounded jerky into this little origami container made out of wax paper that fits just into this little container so that when I put the actual fat in there and the, and the fruit and nuts, it'll stay together and form as a block. And here's the tallow that's going to go into it, which as I previously mentioned was the last video that I did of how to prep and clean it. So that's the blitzed up jerky and the fruit and nut all mixed together. Now all we've got to do is add the welted tallow to it. And once your little wood burner's going, the first thing you do is get a brew ready. There we go, spot on. I've just got the tallow in the pot ready to go. It won't take much heat to melt this because it's a hot day and it's very soft and pliant already. So it's time to take it off the heat and then pour it in to the beef jerky and stir. Obviously you want to make sure it's all covered. That looks about the right amount. Good. And then slowly spoon it into your mould. You'll see two pieces of ash either side here. That's just for my vanity to make sure it's as square as possible. This is going on YouTube, you know. And now we just have to firm it down and leave it somewhere overnight to set. And this is it in the morning. It's nice and hard. There it is out of its wrap. You see, I've got those Hollywood straight edges. 